Is this camera looking okay? I have been doing a lot. She's been doing a lot. Um, some may not consider it a lot, but I think it's a lot for me after being in Florida for like, what, eight, nine months and just not doing anything but like working from home. It's been crazy. Anyways, I'm trying to make this a long story short. Um, I was in Orlando for a weekend with family, like mid-September like up towards the end of September and then the following weekend which is this weekend that just passed I was in New York City for our very dear friends um wedding ceremony which was absolutely gorgeous and beautiful it was such a non-stop ride and I loved it um I was actually shocked that I loved it because I thought I was gonna be like so tired because usually when I'm in New York City I get like really tired really easily when I'm like doing a lot of things but I think it's because I've been so dormant that like my energy was just like let's do it let's do it let's do it it was crazy but then okay so I don't understand how people vlog I wish I was good at vlogging I am not good at vlogging because I should have vlogged the entire experience and I don't understand how people walk around with their cell phones filming and talking and just like I don't know like I feel like I need to be aware of my surroundings and life that is happening at that moment I just maybe one day I'll learn how to vlog but it was a really great trip um as soon as I landed we went and got our nails done which was soy heel we went to brunch it was just like non-stop like every day it was like something and it was fun um the wedding was absolutely beautiful I officiated it which is shocking to me I'm still in disbelief but yeah I officiated the ceremony and that was amazing um two of my dearest friends closest friends it was a beautiful beautiful reunion and experience and I'm just so still full over overfilled with love from it um but yeah today this weekend I was like I need to like clean my apartment because it's been a moment. Because I haven't had a weekend to just like chill since. So this weekend um, started off with me going to visit my parents. I went over to their house. My mom cooked some salmon croquettes and grits. It was good. So we had like brunch at her place. Well, at their place. And we watched a fun movie. Love my parents. They're so great. But, which leads me to the topic at hand. What is in this bag? What is in this bag, sis? And yes, that is Basquiat and Mr. Warhol Favesies. Um, so I tend to have a lot of packages delivered to my parents' house. Um, because at my apartment complex, you know, there's no like sufficient like mailboxes. There's mailboxes, but like it's a bit easier. I get to see my parents like pretty much every weekend, thankfully. Um, so I'm just like, since they have a house, just have the postman deliver it to the door, you know? So <laughs> since I've been gone for two weeks, I've had some packages come that I have not been able to open or get into. So I'm going to get into them today and take you along for the ride. So yeah, I went to my parents' house and there were boxes um, for me to open up. Some were records, which I'll get into maybe in another video. Um, and some were other things. So we're going to get into the other things today. Um, it's just, I'm always having issues with this camera. I think she's clear. She's good, right? Okay. Anyways, so I know I had to order some things. I did not order this symphony bar. I got this from Walmart on the way here. But um, yeah, so I unboxed the items. And I put them in this handy low-key bag, which I adore. I use these my entire, like, last five years in New York City when I lived there. They're so efficient. Love these bags. So anyways, to make this story short, let's get into what's in the bag, sis. Okay, so where should I start? <laughs> so, okay. So first, there is this brand I had never heard of. I don't know how it got suggested to me online. It just like popped up. I think it says I love candles. But it's this brand called Vacation. And I really love their aesthetic. It's very, um, very like old, school, like 80s kind of like 
I don't know. It reminds me of like 80s Miami. And they are based in Miami, Florida, which is so awesome. I'm not even exactly sure exactly what they sell. But this candle popped up. Um, like that they did a collaboration with Prince. Um... Prince the Tennis brand. Um, these are, oh my god, they're so cute. These are their leisure matches from the Vacation Home Resort Collection. Love. They're 17 long matches. These came free. Ooh, I really like the blue tip. This blue tip, so cute. You can see that. Yeah, you can see it. But like, yeah. So, okay, this candle popped up just randomly on like my feed on Instagram or something. I have no idea. And it said that it smelled like tennis balls. Now, if you see my previous videos, Otherland has a um, match point, which is based on like tennis and summer. It's a very good summer candle. I have like two of them because I love them so much that I have a backup, but it's only a seasonal candle that they do for summer. So when I saw that this candle was inspired by like tennis balls and was actually a collaboration with Prince, who is known for like tennis and things like that, I was like, ooh, I gotta try her. So here she is. She is kind of pricey. I believe she's like in the $40 range. But then like, you know how when you add things to cart and then all of a sudden you get a an email with like a little um, discount? I think I got 25% off of it or something. But this is so cute. So okay, it's called Ball Boy. I love the packaging so much. I love this like luxury simplicity, like very like 80s, 90s. Oh, this is really cute. I think I might keep the box. Sometimes with some of my candles, I totally keep the box. This is 1992 Miami, Florida. Um, this is a long, long spiel. Okay, so this is, oh, so, va okay, Vacation is a sunscreen company, cute. Um, let's see, this commemorative candle recognizes Bell and Schofield's contributions to the Vacation Sunscreen Company and lets you relive the historic moment with notes of freshly uncanned tennis balls, Prince cotton sweatbands, that's cute, cucumber sandwiches, oh, that's cute, Vacation Sunscreen, and of course, Schofield's Signature String Wax Blend. Okay, I don't know what show filled is. I'm pretty sure it's on here someplace, but let's just whip into this candle. Mm, I really like the packaging. I hope I don't ruin it. Oh. This is nice. I wonder what this row is going to be like, though. This is, this is cute. It has, like, a really nice green wax. I like that. I like the tall vessel. It's very different than like other vessels that I have. So it'll be like cute in my collection or just like on a stand. But yeah, this is really cute. I'm into it. Is this focusing? It's cute. I like it. It says, yeah, features, scent notes, fresh land canned tennis balls, vacation sunscreen, prints, cotton sweatbands, cucumber sandwiches. So cute. I'm very into it. That cold throw ain't really giving me nothing. So I'm hoping when this is burned, it fills the room. Um, that's what I get for taking a chance. But I got a discount off of it. It's 8.5 ounces. And hopefully it fares well. But I'm excited for this. And I love the packaging. Ball boy. Cute. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into our next item. Okay. So my next item is these slides that I have been wanting that Adidas did. And for some reason, they always sell out because of... Yeezus, Kanye, yay, whatever he's going by now. Because these were the ones that they said Adidas had copied the Yeezy slides. Like, Adidas made their own versions of the Adidas, of the Yeezy slides or something like that. And Kanye was, like, mad about them. I did not give a F. I was like, those slides are cute. And I want them. I mean, don't remind me of the Yeezy slides. People comparing that is just so weird to me. But they are... Okay, so I got the black ones. These are so hard to find. Because I guess, like, people are buying them and selling them on 
um, like stock X and shit, which is so annoying. Can y'all stop that? Um, but these are so cute and I love them because they're very like futuresque looking. Like, yes, they're all one piece, kind of like the Yeezy slide, but design wise, they don't give me Yeezy slide. Y'all need to stop. These are so cute. It reminds me of like the earth. Like it reminds me actually of a Bjork video where like the tectonic plates are moving and it's just like so damn cool. Like even on the inside, it just like gives this like whole futuristic 3D printed vibe. I like that they're there's no stripes on it. It's very simple, but yet not simple at all. And they feel like they'll be really comfortable. So I'm excited for these. They're like a black, like a like a matte black, almost grayish tone, which I don't have any slides like that. So I'm excited that I was able to get these. They feel really comfortable. I'm excited to try them on. But yeah, they're really cute. Um, I got these from Hibbit Sports, because for some reason on Adidas websites, you can't even, like, they're not even listed anymore. I don't know what the hell happened there, but I'm really excited that Hibbit had my size, and they are cute. So I'm excited for these, because, you know, in Florida, it's always kind of summery. And plus, I like wearing slides around the house, and I have Crocs for outside. So maybe, well, besides my other sneakers. Because Crocs are like, you know, for when you're going to the mailbox and stuff like that. So maybe, I don't know. These will probably be for around the house. Or maybe outside the house too. Who knows? Whatever. There's no rules. Um, Let's see. What is next? What is next? This bag is full of stuff. It's so fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I really do. But I do love show and tells. Oh, my mom put me some croquettes in there for later. She loves to do like little treats for later. Um, <laughs> oh. Ciao. So I don't know if you follow me on my social media, but I got really mad at McDonald's because of those damn adult Happy Meal toys because I went and got a damn Happy Meal, an adult Happy Meal, and I wanted the Cactus Plant, what? Cactus Plant Market? Whatever it's called. Toy collaboration that they were doing. And they gave me a... Just go over to my TikTok. It's Jermaine Jagger, and you'll you can see the whole video. It's kind of blowing up, but I was very upset. So I went on Mercari, and I went ahead and ordered Birdie. I did. I went ahead and I ordered Birdie. This is the one that I really, 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 really wanted. She's so damn cute. I had to like just go ahead and order her. It's weird because I feel like her parts move, but this is so damn cute. I love it. Um, and it's funny because once I got back from New York, my mom was like, oh man, McDonald's call because I did complain. <laughs> I complained to that McDonald's. And I was like, I want my damn toy. And they actually called. And we went, I stopped by, and they had two toys for me. They gave me two, and I was, like, very thankful. So shout out to that McDonald's for staying in touch and giving the girls what they need and want. Um, because I got this one I ordered from Mercari, Birdie. And then now I also have Grimace, and I have the little cactus plants smiley face and those are three that I really wanted. She has two sets of goggles y'all. I can't for her four eyes. So cute. Excited about that. Um, let's see what's next in here. Oh this is gorgeous. So there's this awesome queer owned brand. They do home goods um, and they're all 3D printed. They're called Print Error and their stuff is amazing. I have multiple, like, vases by them, um, planters, I love their planters, I actually have one here, let me see if I can get out, oh, like, this is one of their face planters, I love it, absolutely love it, yes, look at this, oh, mother, so cute, anyways, <laughs> Hope y'all ain't seeing the back of my unshaved head. Um, but yeah, I they have misprints, they call them. And I ordered, they did a vase called Sticks. And it's like a bunch of hands wrapping around. I wanted it so bad, but it was like one of their more pricier items. So I could not afford it. And then they announced on their Instagram that they have some misprints. And I hope the lighting's good. The lighting's fine. There we go. Um, some misprints available of it which usually are the ones because everything is 3d printed that they do so there could be some like errors that happen so i got one i did i'm not exactly sure where i'm gonna put her but she is gorgeous 
oh my god when my mom saw this she was like oh my god this is for me right she thought it was for her and i was like absolutely not mom it's so fucking gorgeous like do you see this it's like fingers all reaching out and there's like layers of them like look at that so i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna put in here i think i'm gonna put some flowers in here or something it's just so ornate and beautiful, y'all. I just can't. This is going to be a prized piece of my collection. I don't see many errors with this. I do see some fuzziness that's easy to just, like, pop off. But I'm so glad that they gave me such a great one. It's so fucking gorgeous. I love pieces that are, like, really intricate, but yet also have, like, a minimal vibe to them. Oh, it makes me so happy. I might put it in my bedroom actually it's just so gorgeous so i don't think i could put yeah it doesn't have to be flowers or something i love it i am so en enthused by this it's a work of art they make works of art again it's print error i'll try to put their um website below in the comments in case you want to pick up something for them from them they're great love them this is more stuff that vacation sent me Oh yeah, so we're almost done. <laughs> okay, so long story short, because this video is getting long, my job, because it was my birthday, October 2nd, happy birthday to me, hi. Um, my job gave me a $100 American Express gift card. It was like an online, one of those online gift cards, and I was so excited about it. I was like, oh my God, cute. So, I was like, what should I get myself? Because I could just, like, go grocery shopping or something with it. But it's kind of fun to have something. I'm like, oh, my job bought this for me, you know, in my head. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when someone gives you, like, a gift card that you can use anywhere, I feel like that's a moment to buy yourself something that you've been wanting that you don't want to spend your own money on. So, contrary to my previous videos about boy smells, I decided to go ahead and buy another Boy Smells candle. And the only reason is because Grace Jones did a collaboration with them. Sorry, my disco balls are shining light on me. Hi. Um, Miss Grace Jones did a collaboration with them. She is everything to me. She's one of my, she's definitely an icon. She's up there in my world with like Mickey Mouse, who's been an icon to me since I was a child. Um, so I had to get the candle. Now, previously, when they first launched them, I did get the small one. And, you know, to be honest, I was not that happy with the small one. The packaging is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But it actually is tunneling, which Boy Smells is known for their candles to tunnel. And it's so annoying because you spend fi almost $50 on a candle and it tunnels. What? So, I decided to get the Magnum. I did. Because I spent my own money on the small one. And it being Grace Jones, I was like, I need the Magnum. Previously, I had a purple Kush Magnum size from Boy Smells. And this time, because that one um, totally is out now and dead. <laughs> I decided to get the Magnum. I had a discount code and everything. And, oh, God, it's so beautiful. This is the box. Oh. The black, the black darling. And then turn the box around and there you have this Grace Jones. Don't you love it? So <laughs> as a gift to myself from my job, I decided to get the Magnum candle. I am so excited to open this. It's 27 ounces of black wax. Um, the notes are, oh, it's not, yeah, they're on here. The notes for this are black, pe black pepper, freesia, Water lily, cedarwood, salted musk, and wet stones. I will say from burning the smaller one, I feel like I get more notes of the salted musk and wet stones. Um, it is more of like a aquatic feel to it. Um, I love it. Should I just open it on camera? Let's just open it on camera. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love Grace. Um, they have some stickers here that secure it. Ooh. So yeah, um, I got a promo code for this. I believe it was 15 or 20% off or something like that. 
Um, but I also wanted their free shipping, so I also got another candle as well, because I think their free shipping is, like, spend $95 or something. Mm. See, this is a really, like, I love it, but it's really a, it's a nice candle. It's not too strong. If you don't like, if you like candles that are not too strong, I would definitely suggest going with this one. I like the back, the black wax. It reminds me of Apotex, um, charcoal candle. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to put this in my bedroom or if I'm going to put it... I think I'm going to change how my island is decorated, especially for Halloween, um, and have this up there and do some, like, black diptyque... Not black triptych... Triptych... Whatever. A black setup. How about that? So, yeah, I might, like, sit the candle on top of the box, too, because it's absolutely gorgeous with her face. I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. And so, because I had to spend a certain amount for free shipping I went ahead and got a candle that I had been wanting um, from them that I never owned but my um, roommate's good friends owns and I've smelled it other places too it's from the Boy Smells Hyper Nature line um, and this is Neopesh these usually one run for like $44. So since I had a discount code and wasn't using my own money, I was like, okay, in order for me to get free shipping, I'm just going to do this. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I got Neopash and the Grace Jones candle. Oh, my God. Should I burn this tonight? It's so good. So, yeah, this is the vessel. I love the Hyper Nature vessels. They're so reflective and cool. Um, I actually reuse these. I love them. Pencil holders, cups, whatever. It's just, Neopesh is such a beautiful fragrance. It's ultraviolet, ultraviolet, um, pink peppercorn, rose, mandarin, peach skin, amber, and oak moss. So yes, very excited for these candles and these purchases. Um, so yeah, that is all that was in the bag. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, there's one more thing. Ugh. Yes, Renaissance. Now, this is the deluxe edition that is clearly still accessible. You can still buy this anywhere. People were like, who put the hiring about the original one that originally like got put up online? But I'm glad I waited for this 36 page photo booklet and collectible poster, double 180 gram vinyl of probably my favorite Beyonce album ever. I have, I usually was not, well, Previously, I was not a big fan of Beyonce, um, but when she released the Beyonce album, which I also have on vinyl and Lemonade, and now this, I'm a fan. I am. <laughs> but I will do an unboxing of this in another video, a little vinyl unboxing video coming soon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lighting. Not sorry about the skin because it looks pretty good. And feel free to comment down below if you have any comments about any of the items that I purchased. If you own any of the items, what you think. I'd like to hear you guys' opinion. So shout out to me and let me know what's going on. And check me out on social media also. You can see some pics from my moment in New York City there. And also on TikTok, you can hear more about that McDonald's scandal. So yeah, stay tuned and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!